off of Jesus and put his eyes on the waves that he began to sink. So this story could have ended differently. This story could have been that Peter makes it all the way to Jesus and they embrace. He makes it all the way to Jesus and they high five each other. He makes it all the way to Jesus and Jesus, now let's go get in the boat and let's help the rest of you. That could have happened. But he took his eyes off of Jesus and his eyes went on the waves and he fell in the water. But the wonderful story here, the best of the story is this, that when he fell in the water, Jesus reached down and picked him up. Now he got on him a little bit. Oh, you have a little faith. How long have I had to put up with you? Why, gosh, Peter, you could have made it, Peter. I think that's what he's talking about there in, in the intent of why do you have such little faith? You could have made it. You were doing so good. You were on your way, Peter. You just haven't learned enough yet. But the other 11 still in that boat. And you were coming to me. Man, if you hadn't lack of faith, and, and if you hadn't put your eyes on the waves and took your eyes off of me, Peter, you could have made it. And so it was a teaching moment for Peter and for the rest of the disciples. So the question we all have to ask ourselves, are we one of the 12? Are we the one that will get out of the water? Are we the complainer? Are we the griper in the back that stays in the boat? Are we the doubter that stays in the boat? Are we the questioner that stays in the boat? Are, are, are we the skeptic that stays in the boat? We have to ask ourselves that question. But just like you look around and you see water is miraculous. Water sustains itself. Water evaporates, comes back to drain, and it, it goes through that system. You have life in the water. You got fish. You have life all around us. The miracle of the banana tree. The miracle of Liptus trees. The miracle of all the fruit and vegetables around here. I mean, life is a miracle. And this place is here to show us the miracle of our almighty God in his wonderful restaining world and the fact that he loved us so much that he sent his son into the world to die on the cross for our sins and that gives life so you can walk on the water if Jesus is coming to you let that rivet you let that strengthen you let us pray Father we're thankful for this day we're thankful Lord for your love and your mercy Help us, Lord, to really experience the very best of you today. And, and may this, being on this water, in this boat, with these wonderful people, remind us of your love for us and the fact that, Lord, through you we can do all things. We can be stronger through you. Lord, through you, Father, we can experience life that goes beyond the normal. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.